praise Jesus. God bless you all. Oh, I got a couple of verses I want to share with you. Um, let me remember. Um, I want to read this here. It says something in Psalms talking about David when he born in the book of Psalms. And I want to read the. I want to read. I'm not going to read the whole. Well, I'm just going to go piece by piece. It says here, I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord. I will sing. King David sing to the Lord, right? He said, I will sing mercy and judgment, you know, because he's just, right? His mercy and fire consuming. It says here, in verse 2, it says, I will behave myself wisely. It says, in a perfect way, or oh, when will thou come unto me? He's asking a question there. I was just saying, I was saying, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Now we go back before I read the next verse. We understand about King David, where was chosen as king, chosen to be king over Israel. We see um, he had a problem, an issue. And in his life, right, um, a lustful pro uh, problem, like looking upon a woman, a married woman. We see why he did. I believe her name is Bathsheba. He, he, he lay with her, right, and she got pregnant. Ended up committing murder, adultery, and we see his life was in a mess. And um, living in sin, you know, and, and, and what it was doing with him, consuming him. Right, and we see here that he writes in Psalms that I will be him as a wisely in a perfect way because his life was in very corrupt, very destroying. Right, it was really um the sin was really consuming his life into you know prophet came to him, prophesied to him. But like what he says here, all oh, when will thou come unto me? We need God. We need the Lord Jesus Christ. We need Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. We need Him, you know, because when we live in the sin, right, we live, because we understand that sin is always going to be present before us, but we live in, 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 in willful sin, and we sin willfully after we see that that is true. We end up becoming an adversary of God. Um, but he, he said, when I will work perfectly in my house. And it says above in that same chapter, when will thou come to me? You know, it says I'll become wise. And then it says here in the next verse, um, verse 3, it says, I will set no wicked things before my eyes. And we see, um, I probably won't be able to finish this, but you see, through television, tele Teleporting, television, teleporting, information through the vision, right? And we begin to see um, how it affects the mind because that Bible says, and I believe it's the message of the sin, if I'm not mistaken, but it talks about the eye being the lamp of the body. And if that eye is dark, and then the whole body is dark, and how great is that darkness, right? Because we're setting our eyes on wicked things that it affects our spiritual life. And so we got to turn away from seeing the wickedness, seeing wicked things. And, we, and we're seeing that as and before us. What we got to do, though, we got to behave wisely, right? We got to behave wisely, right? Praise God. Just like he said, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way in the corrupt way. I will set no wicked things before my eyes. Praise Jesus, because the time we live in is that we sing. We seen the wickedness before our eyes. We seen the damage it causing even with, with, with the young kids, right? That they're allowed to choose whatever they want to choose, gender. And we see how Disney's being corrupt, how television is being corrupt, and we seeing uh, we 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 putting these the um the we setting their eyes on these wicked before the wicked eyes. And he says, yeah, I hate the works of them that turn aside. I shall not cleave to me. That's why he said, I was sent by eyes. I was not sent by before. 
I was sad no one could do for my eyes. I hate the work of them I turn aside. So we see King David, right? How he fell in lust, and fell in adultery, and committed murder. He opened so much doors. Um, and, or, and him setting his eyes on wicked things, right? And, and now he's saying, I should not cleave. You it shall not cleave to me. When I, um, how you call it? Cleave, cleave, like hang on to you, right? And the next verse, he says here, and, um, verse 4, I, a forward heart, forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person you know I just take that for example I would say that I would not know a wicked person you know one of the things that we got to be careful and examine um, who are we walking with who are we holding hands with who are who are we 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 all equally who are we equally yoke with you know but we say don't be unequally yoke with unbelievers he said, how can two walk together unless they agree with one another, right? You know, you can't sit in the, in the table with both God and mammoth. You can't sit in the table with God and the devil. You can't hold those two by hands. Either you live the, you, if you either child of the light or child of the darkness. Um, the Bible said that they love darkness rather than light, for their deeds were evil. Right? I will set no wicked person. I will not know a wicked person. It says here, who's privately slandereth his neighbor. Ouch. Who will I call off? Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not suffer. Praise Jesus. He said, who so privately Privily slandereth his neighbor. Him would I cut off. Slandering your neighbor. I would say love your neighbor, you love yourself, right? Look good to them, right? Even if they hate you, you still gotta be an example to the flocks. He that hath a higher look and a proud heart will not I suffer. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in perfect way, he shall serve me. So we see here the king talking, right? He that walketh in a perfect way, he will, he will, he shall serve me. You know, and we talk about Jesus. You know, when we talk about Jesus, you know, Bible says, "If you love me, keep my commandments." Right? He says that not just be hear of his word, but doer of his word. You know, you got to be doer of his word. He commands us. He said, you love me, keep my commandments. If you love God, you will keep and obey his commandment. That's why when we read John 15, he talks about, he talks about, I am the vine, you are the branch. I am the, I am the, I am the vine, you are the branch, and my father, husband. But now, the branch produces fruit. And so the branch is connected to the vine. That branch is not producing no fruit. Then you're not doing nothing at all. The Bible says cut off and it's gathered together. And it's gathered together and it casts into the fire. Where they be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Bible says where well, the worm will not die and the fire will not quench. So when we connect it with the Father, we produce the fruits, but we're not, we're not producing nothing. That's why we got to work perfectly in the eyes of God. The Bible said, be ye perfect as my Father in heaven is perfect. Are we going to reach that perfection? No. We don't go around willfully sinning. And some have willfully sinned. So what you do, you humble yourself before the heaven, before the Father, you know, before the host of angels, you know, in the secret place. You know, I was reading about Matthew 6. Yeah, go to your secret place. Don't be like the hypocrites. Go to your secret place and pray. But what are we, what are we doing? Secret God. Bible said I got reward you openly. And then, and this I just felt like reading this, you know, and he says here, He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. That's what Jesus Christ. 
just looking for. Are you going to be perfect? No, of course not. But those who are willing, who are striving, taking the narrow path, you fall, get up. You know, the Bible says that you have an advocate, right? That, that and we have a mediator between God and man that intercedes for us. We have an advocate of the Holy Spirit. You know, it's quite our Father, you know, he, 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 when we sin, you know, we just got to, you know, humble ourselves and repent of it and keep walking. You know, we now always going to be perfect, right? The whole thing about being perfect that you don't go willfully sin. Are we going to still sin once in a while? Of course. Don't justify it. You may go sin one day, maybe not. Maybe you go all day without sinning. Who knows? Oh, poor, you don't justify it. And you're striving to be perfect as your Father in Heaven is perfect. And the Holy Spirit intercedes for you. The Holy Spirit gives you that strength. The Bible says that He is perfected in your weaknesses. Praise God, this is awesome. And it said, He that, that worketh the sea shall not dwell dwell within my house. Wow. Be careful, man. And he that telleth lies and not tarry in my sight. Think about that, man. He says here that work of the sea shall not dwell in them within my house. You know, the Bible talks about Revelation. And it talks about that who would who would not inherit the the kingdom of heaven? Liars, murderers, warmongers, um, lying, um, preaching adultery. You know, uh, um, it talks about who would not inherit the kingdom of heaven. He said they would have the part in the lake of fire. And their names were not written in the land book of life. And it says that the smoke of their torment ascended up for all of eternity. And the last enemy that's going to be destroyed is hell and death. Praise Jesus. I will early, I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Who are you serving today? Who are you walking with? Who are you putting your trust in? Who are you putting your faith in? Praise God. So Jesus Christ is saying to be an example to the flag, to be doer of his word. You know, he's gonna compare you, man, with the talents that he put in your hand. You know, some have more talents than others, and they're multiplying. The Bible talks about one one man that had one talent, and he was a buried, he go he went and buried him. And he said, What is your talent? And what happened is was ashamed of it. What happened was cast out. Well, the kingdom was cast out. The Bible said, well, they'd be weeping and wailing, gnashing of teeth. It was cast out to hell. So you have a talent. Are you multiplying it? Are you being faithful to the calling? Are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to separate yourself for Jesus, not for men, not for the pastor, not for the leaders, for Jesus. I'm guilty of that. I could tell you, man, I'm so guilty. I, de I deserve hell. I really do. I deserve hell. I deserve one way to get straight to hell. That's why I always humble myself and go to Jesus and say, Father, forgive me. I know I did wrong. I don't want to do it again. I tell the Lord, help me with my weaknesses. Thank you, Jesus. To God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. Like, share, subscribe.
and the goal is to hit 100 subscribers. So let's try to make that hit that 800 mark. Um, the whole thing is for the kid that could be spread out the message and with the testimonies of people. And um, that's the goal is to hit 800. So I'll see you soon and I'll give you little updates on my plan or what I got for this month. And thanks. God bless you, Jesus' name.